Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. It's good to have you. Now, in the last video, I talked about an important item for your bug out bag that some people might overlook. Today, we're going to take a look at an item that I think most people would overlook. In fairness, though, there are going to be some people out there who just are not going to care. Picture this realistic scenario. There has been a huge disaster. Maybe it's localized to a particular region of your state. Maybe the entire state. Maybe even a national disaster. You've got your bug out vehicle, you've got your bug out location, everything pre-planned, you've got your routes, all the pre-planned ones, great. Something happens and now you're on foot. You notice a lot of people trying to get the hell out of Dodge as fast as possible. and when it comes to a large disaster you're going to have people who are very desperate and that makes them dangerous and then you're going to have people who are strictly out for number one and they will do whatever it takes to stay alive or not even to stay alive to stay comfortable while they're alive and there you are with your bug out bag. Plenty of gear, plenty of food, plenty of water, and you're on foot. Okay. Let's say you decide sticking to the main road is no longer a good idea because you've got a lot of other people who are doing the same thing and you seem more prepared than they are. So, you decide to take one of your alternate routes to your bug out location. It's going to be through the woods. You head through the woods. All of a sudden, nature calls. And it's not the sort of thing where if you're a guy, you can just go behind a tree for a few seconds standing up. Now, the problem is if you decide I'm gonna do some stealth camping a few yards away from where I do my business maybe you were intelligent enough to get a tent in a color that blends in with the woods great maybe you take some tree branches and you hide one portion of the side of your tent by stacking those branches next to it. Fantastic. Or up against it. Great. So you've decided to do some stealth camping just so you can get a few hours of sleep because you're exhausted. But first, you gotta take care of your business. So you take care of it, you pull out that nice white toilet paper. You do what you have to do. Maybe you're someone who doesn't care and you just toss it down onto the ground. Okay? And then you're going to walk maybe at most a few yards to your stealth camping location. Okay, brilliant. If someone else comes through the woods because they also want to get away from people, but they're desperate for food or water, all of a sudden, they stumble onto your crap pile with the toilet paper on top of it. Or maybe you do what some lazy people do when they're through hiking. They just put a rock on top of the toilet paper that really does, no pun intended, a crappy job of hiding it. So now you've got someone desperate for food, for water. 
they see that scat, your scat, they see that toilet paper, and they know someone was through here. Someone who has toilet paper. If you have toilet paper with you, you might have other supplies. So now, they're going to start looking for you. Maybe you moved on, maybe you're in the area. They're going to start in the area first. And it's not too difficult to imagine that they're going to stumble onto your stealth camping site just a few short yards away. And you're asleep? I wouldn't want to be you if you're a heavy sleeper. So, what's one way to make sure that realistic scenario doesn't happen? Well, what the more mature hikers do when they're on a trail, they'll walk off a trail, they'll find a tree, they'll pull out a trowel, They'll dig a hole, they'll do their business, they'll wipe, they'll put the toilet paper in the hole, then they'll take their trowel, they'll take the dirt that they scooped out of the ground, and they'll cover everything up. Nice, simple, easy. A lot of through hikers on trails across America, they like to go lightweight. So obviously, they're not going to be toting around a shovel. And they're not going to be toting around an entrencing tool. Yes, that will make digging a hole a lot easier. The problem is the absolute smallest, lightest entrencing tool out there is made by Gerber. And, yeah. It's definitely small. You probably wouldn't have a problem putting it into a large bug out bag. But wow, is it ever heavy. And that's the lightest entrancing tool out there. It's the lightest compared to all the other ones available. And even the lightest one is just way too heavy to put into a bug out bag. Weight is the number one thing. So take a page out of the through hikers book, at least the mature ones, and get yourself a good trowel. Thing is, there are limited options. A traditional trowel is not going to work because you're going to have this portion here being thin, possibly even sharp, in order to get through hard ground. That's not good for your pack, especially if you've decided to go with a hiking pack as your bug out bag. Not good. It's going to cut through your pack. Or maybe it's the opposite problem. This area right here on a traditional trowel could be as dull as a butter knife. So now you can't get through the ground at all or you have to put in a ton of effort if the ground is a little hard. So okay, what's out there? Well, if you take away a traditional metal trowel, you do have traditional plastic trowels. They're pretty much useless unless the ground is extremely soft, soft dirt. Anything other than extremely soft dirt, the plastic trowels, they're bulky. They are lightweight, but they're bulky, and they're really useless. There is a company and there have been cheap knockoffs of this tool. It's called the U Dig It tool. The letter U, the word dig, and the word it. The U Dig It tool. This is a metal trowel with a folding handle. 
and it comes in a good pouch with a flap over the top. Now it is metal. You can get through harder ground. I believe it's stainless steel. It's a little heavy, but not too heavy. It's something you could put into your bug out bag. The problem is this tool and its cheap knockoff clones all suffer from the same issue. The handles have a tendency, the folding handles, have a tendency to either break or bind up and then it becomes useless as a trowel. So what else is out there? Well, you're looking at it right here. This is commonly referred to as the deuce of spades or just the deuce. Now you're looking at the second version here. The main difference is the first version had a round lanyard hole and no ridges. This was completely smooth. So the company that makes this, and yep, most of the information is on the back. This is made in Korea by DAC. It was designed by the tentlab.com in Colorado. The Deuce, number two, yeah, that's not a joke. This is the second version of it. Ultralight trowel, just over half an ounce in weight. This thing is made of thin aluminum, but it is rigid. This thing is surprisingly solid and rigid for being made of thin aluminum. There's the thinness as you can see very thin. Now this is a great solution to that problem. If you decide you need to do stealth camping while you're bugging out this will help you to bury your business along with your toilet paper. Now the particular color, this thing is available in so many colors. Really bright colors, subdued colors like this lime green. Yes, this is one of the subdued colors. If you see some of the other colors this thing is available in, you will understand what I mean. It also comes in even more subdued colors like black and dark blue. Why did I go for the lime green? Because the place I bought mine from, I believe they were having a sale at the time and this was the most subdued color left. So I bought the lime green. But if you don't like lime green, it's available in other colors. Now, this thing is easy to use. I will say this. It doesn't require the absolute softest dirt or soil in order to use. But at the same time, you guys are seeing how thin this thing is. It's made from rigid aluminum, but it's still aluminum and it's very thin. What I'm saying is don't be like one of those individuals who was told, oh, cats always land on their feet if they fall from a height and then you get some idiot who goes to the roof of their apartment complex with a cat, tosses it off the roof and then comes back and tells you, nope, that's not true. Yeah, realistically speaking, the softer the soil and the dirt, the better. If it's a little bit hard, you can use these ridges here and this tip here to help break up the soil a bit if it's a little bit hard. Now if it's winter and the soil is frozen over, obviously you're not getting through it with this. 
you're not be realistic but for soft semi soft or slightly hard soil with a bit of effort on the slightly hard soil you should be able to get through with this the deuce or the deuce of spades and yes we've all heard that expression taking a deuce that's yeah let's just move on so how do you use this well if you do laundry and you use powdered detergent with a scoop you already know how to use this it's the very same technique hold it by the handle like this and you're just gonna scoop out the dirt scoop it out scoop out that dirt if you have to break up the dirt that's what the ridges are for that's what this slight tip is for break up the dirt but it's a scooping motion and then do your business use your toilet paper make sure everything is down the hole next to the base of the tree that you're using and then grab the dirt scoop it back in very simple if you need to do stealth camping while bugging out a very lightweight digging tool such as this trowel is an absolute must-have because the last thing you want is to leave behind some bright white toilet paper that someone comes along they might be desperate they see that they know someone is nearby and if that someone has toilet paper they might have other supplies things can get ugly very quickly and unfortunately if you're on foot a shovel is impractical a compact shovel is impractical and I'd even go so far as to say that a small entrancing tool is going to be impractical this is actually the best option this is the best trowel that's out there for outdoor use but again please be realistic its limitations are obvious so please be realistic but this is a fantastic option as long as you're realistic for when you need a trowel okay guys that's it for today I know this video was a little long but I figured this particular must-have item for a Bob needed quite a bit of explaining that's why it's a that's why it's longer than usual basically alright guys I will see you in the next video please stay safe don't let anyone tell you it's safe out there you don't need a mask no you need a mask you absolutely need a mask and I might be able to help you guys with that maybe make sure you stay tuned to my channel stay safe out there wear your mask I'll see you guys in the next video seriously please stay safe